Hey Brainy Babes and welcome into my channel or welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna have a little bit of a shorter video but I think it's still gonna be good stuff so let's get right into it. <laughs> Today we're talking about seven ways to live more in the moment and I think that this is a struggle that we have a lot nowadays because we're constantly worrying about money, struggles, we're constantly worrying about relationships, balancing work, life, like it's a struggle out here as I've said in my videos before. So we are reviewing just the art of slow living a little bit just a little reminder of some things that you can do to implement into your life so you can just ground yourself and be thankful and appreciative throughout the day so slow living has been becoming kind of a little bit of a trend lately i've been noticing it on like it pinterest and some tiktokers or you know some social media people might be trying to do it and it's something really great honestly slow living or being more intentional with your time is just what it means to live more in the moment and i struggle with constantly trying to think of like future things to do future things that i need to get done things that i want to plan for goals which those are great to have but it's also like we need to focus on what we can do right now like things in the future we can't focus on those all the time because there's stuff that's going on right now that we need to focus on so let's get into it i have seven ways to live more in the moment so in my last video, you kind of figured out that I'm a little bit of a nerd with sensation and perception. So I'm going to review the senses, but it's important for you, I promise. It's important to review these before we go through with the next few things um, because they are a part of the steps that I have. So just a quick review. You have taste, touch, smell, um, hearing, and then obviously you can see things with your eyeballs. So those are your senses. Um, super quick. So that's basically like the coding to being able to live slower or more in the moment. So that also brings me into the first pointer, which the first step or the first way to live more in the moment is to appreciate your body. So some ideas for this are to daily like list off one day like how much you appreciate your body or something you appreciate about your body and what it does. And I feel like this is just such such a great practice to do and obviously I'm I'm an anatomy nerd, I'm a psychology nerd. I'm I'm all about the body. But it's so good just to sit down and be reminded also of like what it does for you, you know? So just maybe write down, I'm thankful that my body digests the horrible things that I put in it like Twinkies and Doritos and makes me poop it out. Because if I didn't, that would not be good. And maybe thank your gut microbiome because that's a big thing coming up in like science biology field. So thank your gut microbiome for dealing with all of the diseases in the air that we're constantly around and fighting them off without us even noticing and so like just be thankful for those things and the immune system like giving thanks to the immune system and like you don't have to get that in depth it could just be as simple as like i'm thankful that my eyelids blink for me so that my eyeballs don't get dry or something like that i feel like if you implemented doing this some some way in your daily life it could help you with your self-esteem it could help you with just overall gratitude towards life and it could help you with slow living so this is a really great one next one is nourishing your taste buds obviously we can figure out what this goes along with with the sensations or the senses um so this could be just introducing in your morning a routine of having a cup of coffee and just enjoying that cup of coffee like sitting down and just nourish your taste buds with something delicious you know like and i know that may sound weird but just like appreciate that too like i think i guess the main coding too is appreciation for everything because if you can have appreciation for little things then you can have appreciation for things that are harder to deal with too so this could also be just trying a new meal, trying to be no, more nutritionist or <laughs> more nutritional. Cooking is an art of slow living. Like cooking is kind of an art, a part of slow living because you have to spend time to read the recipe and get the ingredients together and measure them and mix it. And that can definitely be something that like is taken away from us when we're just going to get fast food and we can just go here and go pick up this uh, Chipotle really quick and then drive home with it, which Chipotle is freaking delicious for one, but it is good to just cook once in a while, try a really fun meal, try a new recipe, have a nice cup of tea that you make for yourself or a fancy drink of hot cocoa, whatever it may be, just to sit down and enjoy it and appreciate it. Alright, so the next one is very important. This is for nourishing your touch, which 
touch senses important uh, so this can be hugs connection just in general having connection with your family date nights quality time it doesn't have to necessarily be like touch it's like your connection with others and like how in touch you are with yourself or others and that kind of thing so just try to try to have more hugs try to say more compliments try to reach out to that person you maybe don't re reach out to as much and just like see how they're doing or try and call a friend that you haven't talked to in a while just nourishing your touch and going in tune with that that can help you slow down and just appreciate those little moments as well because it's kind of hard when we get so busy to appreciate the little moments that we may not notice in life but when we're kind of creating those little moments and like kind of setting the goal to be appreciative for those moments i promise you that will help train you to just notice those other little moments already happening in your life unconsciously and bring them to your consciousness this could also be getting a massage too or doing a massage or facials this one's quick nourishing your smell so easy to do this could be lighting a candle or using essential oils it could be just putting on some perfume and appreciating that you have or lotion i mean and appreciating that the lotion feels and just just doing it slow you know like these are some things to do and just do them with intention you know that's the main thing is to do them with intention do them slowly and just appreciate the fact that you have these things to use and to do them things just appreciating next one is nourishing your eyes so i have a bunch of ideas for you with this one you can do color activities this could be trying to do like doing healthy media so you can watch like documentaries you can watch videos you could watch like a horror movie it's fine it's just limiting yourself and doing it with intention like allowing yourself to have that as like a reward almost like i'm not saying it has to be that way i'm just saying like doing it with intention and knowing that's like not something you depend on it's something you appreciate you know like that could be something that you want to focus on or just paying attention in general volunteering or you could also be going on a hike or just appreciating the environment maybe you go on a little weekend trip and go check out a new town like these are small little things you can do to bless your eyes nourish your eyes and be taking in healthy media and that kind of thing this one's quick nourishing your smell so easy to do this could be lighting a candle or using essential oils it could be just putting on some perfume and appreciating that you have or lotion i mean and appreciating that the lotion feels and just just doing it slow you know like these are some things to do and just do them with intention you know that's the main thing so number six is to nourish your ears so this is with your music just me just listening to some music and dancing or maybe it's racing like maybe you love the sound of cars i love to go to car meets i love to watch cars racing and like not gonna lie hearing some nice horsepower is pretty cool so like maybe you like to go to the races and that's something that blesses your ears like it's, that's something that you can appreciate and that's something that you can do to just you know have a good experience and then it could be like listening to podcasts maybe you're just gonna go out and sit in nature listen to the birds listen to the ocean like whatever it is just bless your ears with something nice and then last but not least number seven is to do journaling or scrapbooking or something to document the things that happen in your life because for these things to really be done with intention you have to do the appreciation part and you have to appreciate them and sometimes we get so busy and we forget about things so like if you have moments to look back on in either a journal or a scrapbook or if you just take pictures like some some way like it's very flexible this is the wonderful thing because everyone can do it okay this is not like a girl boy thing this is not like a certain ethnicity thing everybody can do this like just having a notebook in your pocket and just writing down cute little things or fun little stories to tell uh there was one thing i read or saw on a podcast i think where somebody um either asked his kid or he wrote every day in his journal like his most storytelling moment of the day and it started out rough but as he like got further into it he actually had more and more stories to tell every day because he started to appreciate the little things and notice them so i do scrapbooking i do journaling i'm a huge like 
office-y supplies nerd so I love taking notes I love all that kind of stuff so I have all kinds of different ways that I document things that happen in my life and I love to look back at them and just see like the effort that I put into them and the time that I put into them to document them and then also read about those times and the things that I actually did and appreciate that time in my life and I'll remember oh yeah that was a really cute moment that I forgot about and honestly like I will say the one area of my life that's really really improved was at work because if I documented things first of all I'm going to give you a backstory I work in a nursing home I'm a home health aide so if I was not really documenting the small things that happened at work like sometimes I get burnt out and sometimes I forget about the cute things that my residents do for me and stuff and like that's fair and that's that's what happens to all of us but it has helped me so much to just appreciate my job more and just go to work with a smile on my face and not get burnt out as much when I'm just appreciating the little things that happen in my work day so you can bring this to work it doesn't have to be an exciting lifestyle that you have you don't have to be like an influencer or you don't have to be like traveling all these crazy things to have just a documentation of your life like just appreciate the little things live slow live in the moment and I hope you guys enjoyed this video that is all that I have for you today like I said a shorter video but I hope that you learned something I hope you can take something away with you and as always anything is possible if you put your mind to it catch you later